Welcome to day 14 of April All Days 2021, a series of 30 videos for the month of April. And today, we are going to revisit the vi what has become my most popular video, which, which should be appearing in the upper right hand corner of the video right around now. So, as you can see, every there's been quite a lot done to the bells. And of course, we have this new addition. Now, I'm actually going to get started with this. So, so this is my, so this is as best a depiction I could, um, I could do of the John Wanamaker Founders Bell. That I think it's in Philadelphia. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, nah, and of now like now now the and of course now now because of the size of the bell I could um I could actually um inc incorporate a clapper inside and to even a even a, actually a counterbalanced clapper. As you can actually see the counterbalance toward towards the towards the top of the bell, or what would be the top of the bell. The clapper is currently resting against one one end of the bell, but but instead of the one, but instead of the the two uh, wheel, but instead of the two wheels that would be on either side, uh, I could only I only had a, I only had one of I only had one of these so. So so that so I just had to make do. And and the frame is just it's just uh it's like two it's like four beams, I'd say. Maybe eight. But but there's four on each side. One, two, three, four. All connected in an in an X formation. It's a side profile. So that's the so that's the new bell to my so that's the newest bell. Although I've actually had the this this particular bell for quite a while now. <coughs> now on to um, now on to the ones that that I that I featured. Beginning with this one, beginning with, with these four. Now these were, respectively, the second, third, fourth, and fifth of, of what I have now called the Riverside Five, which are the five, which are the five big bells that swing in Riverside Church of New York City. Now I built the frame to to resemble to resemble that of of the real as a part as part of what what would be in the real church, although where where the where the first would be I I decided to incorporate the fourth and the fifth into that spot because. The first would be too large to to implement, and 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 I even rebuilt the and I even built the 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 frame out of Lego Technic. Although although um although bricks are um are what give the the frame its height, and. And you could even um, flip it upside down to reveal to reveal all the bells. And last but not least, the first. And of course, this is the the big boarden, which which, as you can see, I re. I, I completely rebuilt the whole frame 
So, so as you can see, got these, got some struts um, on on each corner of of the frame to help help with the stabilization and all that. Got got the main, got the central pillars, and I even added the the two hammers that would have been on either side of the bell. So I believe the left one would be for the carillon and the right hand one would be for the uh, would be for the um, would be for the would be the, the the clock hammer. And of course like like it like it was back in 2018 the bell of course swings and if I remove some pieces the bell swings, and if I remove another, the clap. There's the ca the clapper is still counterbalanced. So that will be it for day fourteen of April All Days 2021. So if you actually, so actually kind of like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And so I want to thank you all so much for watching. And until tomorrow, drive safely.